Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today. And today we will have to cover the breakthrough in the new battery cells Tesla is capable of producing in Cathal Road. So we will dive into that. And um, if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing and we will start right away into today's video with the battery breakthrough that happened because we do know that Tesla has a lot of challenges with the new battery cells. That is the reason why they had to delay the Tesla Semi. That's the reason why we haven't seen the Cybertruck yet. And I don't criticize Tesla with that. We do know the key here is that they need batteries and not only some sort of batteries, but they want to have these new battery cells. So to be successful in next year, so 2022, and being successful with the Model Y in Austin and in Grünheide, it is really, really important for Tesla to succeed in the production and ramp up of the new battery cells. And we do know that Tesla CEO Elon Musk wanted to have by autumn this year, a production rate of 10 gigawatt hours. We do know that this is really optimistic and we have also heard about a lot of challenges when it comes to producing the new battery cells. But this is no surprise because it is a new product. It is something that no one has done before. And of course, that is part of the way you have to go, that there are challenges. And like Tesla has um, had in the past a lot of challenges, um, SpaceX had a lot of challenges. At the end of the day, when you succeed, then everyone is really jealous about you. And that is what's going to happen very soon because what they achieved compared to last year, just to compare that with you is that yet last year, the production yield was 20%. This today, newest news and update suggests that Tesla has a production yield of 70 to 80%. This is by far not perfect yet, but it really shows how far Tesla has come in researching trying to get the battery as good as possible. For those that don't know what production yield is, it is nothing else as the percentage of batteries that don't need any help anymore, that don't have any um, flaws or um, have any breaks or don't work perfectly. So um, when you have 20% of a production yield, it means nothing else that from all batteries you have produced, only 20% are perfect and can be used in a car, for example. And this is a really low number, but when you achieve 70 to 80%, that means that 20 to 25% of the batteries produced are not capable of doing what they were supposed to do. So of course, these 20 to 25% are not perfect yet, by far not, but it is a big step ahead and I think we can now assume what the timeline for the new battery cells could be. So what I want to say about the timeline here is we do know that in Grünheide, especially in Germany, um, we see now major developments at the site where the battery cell production will be. And actually it's happening what I have mentioned many times on this channel that I believe that once the ground is done, um, building the building on top of it, on the foundation, it's going to be really fast. So I think that the basic foundation and the basic pillars that are now standing there and like some sort of a building construction as we know it from the factory in Austin, this will be done by the next four to five weeks. I'm pretty sure about that. And I think that by end of October, the building will pretty much be done from the outside, not from the inside. And so that would mean that from end of October, so for another two months in November and December, Tesla would have the chance to build everything inside. So that's what's happening in Austin right now, that the building from its outside is pretty much done. But now inside, everything is being installed, everything is getting ready, machines, robots, whatsoever is moving all in. So for Austin, <clears throat> it could mean that this battery breakthrough is really helping 
to maybe set up a production line based on what they have achieved in California and start producing batteries earlier than expected. It could also be that Tesla is waiting till end of the year once they maybe achieve some a rate of maybe 85 to 90 percent copy that and move it to Austin and that could really go into exactly the timeline we have for the Cybertruck because the Cybertruck could then start production by January 2022 you have a small and low production rate of the new battery cell and you start with that and this could really t uh, allow Tesla here to go with the Cybertruck and the new battery cells and then slowly ramp up the production in Austin. For Giga Berlin this would mean the same. Um, I do assume that in Giga Berlin they might start with the production of the battery cells by February that is my personal opinion. It will take some time till end of the year to build this entire building, get it ready and then you have to slowly build up the production line and it is pretty much the same as with Austin but I think we will see the first battery packs coming out maybe in February. Until then Tesla has the chance to further improve the production yield and if you count down we do have September, October, November, December, this is four months for Giga Berlin it would be another month that is almost half a year now that Tesla would have to further increase the production yield and if they only achieve to get to 90% this would be exactly the perfect timing Tesla needs to achieve the success with the Model Y and the new production and the new um, battery cells in Europe and in Austin we could see the Cybertruck happening even sooner. That is my, per, uh, my opinion um, just because the battery cell production side is much more advanced right now as in Grünheide. Furthermore Tesla is also trying to be electricity company and that is what's happening in Texas here so they are further going into plans to provide electricity to people and you are able to disconnect um, your power wall and solar roofs from the grid by the Tesla app. That is a new function that you're able to do. You can just press a button and disconnect from the grid and just use your power wall and solar roof or solar panels. So this is also working now automatically with just pressing one button. I hope you did enjoy my video today. I hope you do like my content and I wish you all a wonderful day and I wish you also a wonderful weekend. So take care guys. Thank you very much for listening and have a wonderful day.